Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Literature Club. It is about 10.30 at night, I am the only one at home and I have most of the lights off, so this is perfect. <laughs> um, depending on how this day goes, I might end up skipping some stuff. I don't know, it might be a lot like the, the first, um, the, oh my god, words. There's probably going to be a few things, but otherwise it's probably going to be a repeat of the same stuff, but with some, like some creepy stuff going on. Kind of like how Yuri's route was. And again, this is a lot easier now that we're down to two girls, I say, as I picked the wrong person. I'm pretty sure that happened last time, too. I'm, I'm excited to see what exactly happens with Natsuki, though. She's she's grown on me quite a lot. I didn't like her at first, but I think she might be my favorite now. I don't know. It's interesting. I I need to see how her story goes. Oh, what, what is that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh my god! I no no no. How would you? Why would you do that to me? I didn't like that noise. <laughs> like I said, like all the lights are off here. That that I'm uncomfortable now. Why do I do this to myself? Hi again, Ash. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> uh, like the last time I did this, I got put my back against something because I'm paranoid. And the music is off key a bit, and it's tilting again. The background's tilting again. I noticed it this time. No, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I say as I hit the air button too fast. Well, I'm back at the literature club. For who knows why. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Ah, creepy face Yuri. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ash. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Ah, hi, Natsuki. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. If you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Monica, please. Please, stop blocking the text box. You're making it difficult. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ma -ma 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 -ma, I can't read your words, Natsuki. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plots back into her seat. I'm sorry, Ash. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Okay, this is random, but um, there's this one brand of toothpaste that always has the camera off like, Sensodyne Toothpaste, their commercials always have the camera tilted at an angle, and it really bothers me. <laughs> I know that's really random, but I just saw that seeing the background. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all... That I should help you get started on something you might like. So Yuri is still vice president. I mean, now that Sayori's gone. I guess that makes sense. I didn't expect Natsuki to be vice president. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. I wonder if I sat here for like 20 minutes, would, it, would the background eventually just be at like a 90 degree angle? I'm kind of curious, but I'm also not that patient, so I'm just going to keep going. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. 
I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, that was a jarring transition. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica, Mon me, 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 Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Hi, Natsuki. You're not gonna be crazy, are you? You looking for something in there? Fucking Monica! Monica! Mm. <laughs> I like that. That sounds like something a high schooler would actually say. S speaking as someone who went to high school. <laughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't really admit you're into it unless, until you figure out where the other person stands. How'd you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I I see. There's a lone volume of manga mixed a stack of, of various books on what, the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pulled out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right, right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ash. Consider this a lesson straight, but don't judge a book. In fact, Nuski pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves a book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated fem feminine poses. Okay, now, on Yuri's route, the book changed from the pre-Sayori death to the post-Sayori death. Like, it was a different... It had the same title and everything, but the content of the book was different. I wonder if that's gonna be the same thing here. Like, I remember, previously, Parfait Girls was like a slice-of-life high school thing. I wonder if that's gonna be the same now, or if it's gonna change. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there! Ugh! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ugh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh, don't just say that. Don't make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arm and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be saying this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few cents at seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Well, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Aw, same cute picture. It doesn't look like anything's changed yet. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince one of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. 
what do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ugh, sorry. Huh. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if, 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 you, if you ever found this. Yep. I figured she had an abusive dad. The way she talked about him before. So, I'm guessing that's where this route is headed. Something bad happens with Natsuki and her dad. At least it's safe here in the club room. Said so Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? And so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Time passes. Nuski is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Did she fall asleep last time? I don't remember. I feel like she didn't fall asleep, but I might just be forgetting because it's been a little while for me. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah? Suddenly Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Oh, that didn't happen before! That didn't happen before! No, 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 no! This is new! And I don't like it! Oh my goodness! Okay, I had to check because I read like an easter egg that sometimes when they do the weird text that says something different in the history, so I had to check. Oh, hi Monica. Oh jeez. Nasuki, are you okay? Seriously, what just happened? Is, is Monica surprised by this too? Was that not supposed to happen? Did she not do that? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give- She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Ash. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. What, like her face and eyes glitch out? That's normal to do? This is a thing that happens? That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. I think you're talking about her falling asleep, but I'm thinking about the glitchy eyeballs. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? <sighs> that was an experience. I'm glad we're getting right to the interesting stuff. Uh, Natsuki, hi. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's why I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Look! Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ugh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. 
Yep, that's the same poem we've seen like seven times now, probably. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks the writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I say, re-reading re these lines for like the 27th time. That's an exaggeration, but whatever. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I wish that the... Um, the thing about this this visual novel is that every time they delete my saves, the skip button stops working because the, it relies on the saves, basically. Which... Oh, jeez, my cat just walked around the corner and terrified me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... The reason it's lit up right now is because I have the settings set to skip all unseen text. So theoretically I could just skip through the entire game right now if I wanted to. But normally it skips everything you've seen before, but like I said it keeps deleting the save files. Which I understand why it does that, but it's kind of irritating. <laughs> anyway, enough of, enough of my complaining. On with the game. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. I might, I might just skip this if Yuri's stuff is all the same. Alright, all Yuri's stuff was the same. Let's check Monica. Hi, Ash! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... Yep, same stuff, same stuff. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a pretty- she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Wow. Yeah. Somebody please call a social worker. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sure. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Yep, this is the hole in the wall too. Yep. Alright then, same poem. Woo! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as it's as, it's as if, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. That music every time throws me off. Like three notes are out of sync. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. Oh yeah, this is the day where, um, Yuri and Natsuki fight, and then like, it, it freaks out and they won't let me pick anything. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each other's expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Oh, sorry, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. 
Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh! If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Ash did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ugh! And Ash liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Noski suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Ash appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ah! Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Ash started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that? You really act as long as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wobby edgy bitch! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people are wanting to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let us hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Ash! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How'd I get dragged in? Do -do 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 -do. Hi. I'm just gonna click a bunch of times until Monica saves me from this hell. Hi, Monica. You're way too close to the screen, friend. Um, hey Ash, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Last time, Natsuki ran off crying. Can we go after Natsuki and talk to her this time? Some present I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. Yeah, you just delete them, because it's easier than trying to actually solve your problems through talking. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Aw, can I hug her? Can I follow her? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rock rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Ash, please don't hate me. Please? I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. This is... <laughs> Whenever it's just these two talking, it's a little difficult for me because my Yuri and Monica voices are quite similar, except one is 
like on the higher range and one's about on the lower range, but they're both kind of soft voice. It's giving me a workout. <laughs> well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ash. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciated your understanding. Okay. And I'm going to stop there on that lovely discordant note. Ah, uh, so... Natsuki. Poor Natsuki. She has a rough life. She needs a hug badly. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!